Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to come to you on this very special day of August 1st and give a little tuning into the, you know, transit that is happening at this time. I'm talking about the Mars North Node Uranus conjunction, um, which, you know, it's one of those transits where the, the feeling of it, I'm sure, has been felt for some time now. Mars, is, especially with Mars transits, I tend to notice that the feeling of the Mars transit comes before, long before the actual perfection of the transit. But you can see um, right now that it's around 11 o'clock. Um, it's in just really a few hours that Mars will cross the North Node. Um, and then Mars will move towards a conjunction with Uranus, which perfects, right, very interestingly enough, around 4.44 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today. Um, and this is a, con a transit that many astrologers are talking about for various different reasons, right? We have the power of Mars and the power of Uranus coming together with the North Node. There's an energy of collective liberation and ground. Um, Uranus brings incredible change and revolution, and yet it's never the kind of change that we can anticipate. It's never the kind of um, experience that can be known. And so when we have a movement in the collective energies with the North Node that is bringing such upheaval and uncertainty, there's immense um, power. I was speaking to a friend last night about it relative to feeling like uh, lightning in the ground. You know, what is lightning in the ground? It's electricity, but it's like embodied it's like an earthquake and lightning coming together at the same time and so when that's happening in our own lives in our own minds in our own experiential field it can have many different manifestations it can be you know in one of those ways like a very powerful internal change um Taurus has to do with our body and embodiment you know wherever this is happening in your chart whatever house, um, you know, whether you have planets there. So for example, I have Chiron around this degree and, you know, there's very much a feeling of the, the journey of the work, the journey of our soul right now is to take all the places where we've decided I'm, I'm wounded this is, you know, this is challenging, this is hard, and really break apart anything, any energy that's stagnant, that's keeping us stuck, and bring it forward into a, a new way, right? And sometimes we need help in order to bring forward uh, change in our lives. Sometimes it's not a force that we can seem to muster and this is where a transit like this is so powerful because on the collective level, it's inviting us to liberate ourselves from a thinking which has become um, too rigid, too controlled, stuck in familiar patterns, right? And there's something that wants to be grown, right? All of this is opposing Scorpio. All of this is opposing the South Node. So if we think about that Scorpio journey, wherever we've become stuck in feeling like, oh, my life is a certain way. I'm, I am a certain way. These people are a certain way. We, we get shaken from that. And that can be a whole death of something in our life that is the, the actual loss of a loved one, a friend, a, a beloved um, it can be the loss of a relationship. It can be just simply the, the transforming of 
energy. It can be that our relationship to something no longer feels the same. I'm looking outside at these lilies, which, you know, they're, they're incredibly beautiful and they often remind me of the sign of death and, um, and, and marriage. It's like they simultaneously can mean this joining, this union of something and at the same time, this ending of something else. And whenever we choose something in our life, whenever we make a change in our life, there is that simultaneous ending of something that we have been doing an ending of a way that we have been being and a, a new union, a new joining with something that is emerging within us. Um, I am wearing my We Rise Collective Liberation shirt. I don't know if you can see this. My dear friends, um, Pat and Nikki, and, you know, started this podcast. Um, and it's grown into something so much more than just a podcast. It's really a field of sharing and learning together that allows for the, the collective to be lifted out of um, mind states of oppression simply by sharing information, by sharing inspiration, by sharing collective wisdom, by sharing collective growth, right? That is a part of what will be happening as we see Pluto moving into Aquarius over the next year. And this is a powerful nodal shift that's going to be happening. And in the same way, the Mars-Uranus transit that's perfecting right now is sort of a break forward into that collective energy. We have to break out of that which is comfortable, that which is familiar, even the pleasure that we receive from, um, you know, from life being beautiful, often it has to be broken apart. We can find a sense of contentment in stagnancy and that that needs our liberation. It needs us to feel a new level of vulnerability. It needs us to bring forward some inner sense of wildness and and change that for some reason is being repressed as a way of protecting ourselves as a way of staying safe right those things that are calling us forward in our life that are saying love me nourish me care for me also need us to be free in how we see them they also need us to um, be embodied in our own wisdom, right? So that we can meet them on the level of sharing and um, bringing new ideas forward. So even the things that are coming into our lives that are new, that feel great, are going to need us to hold a space for that which we don't know to emerge. They're going to need us to to have the energy to do the work while simultaneously um, being slow enough to have the discipline, right? Things are great when they're exciting, right? A new um, relationship or um, a new job, um, things like that are often really they are calling us forward and and at the same time when we reach a critical mass that's when things break through when we reach a point where we say i i can't take this anymore i don't want to do this anymore this isn't sustainable or this isn't fulfilling me this doesn't feel good anymore when we reach that critical mass, then how we relate to that person, place, work, experience, whatever it is, can shift. And that's where we are on a collective level. We're at a critical mass. We're at a critical mass within our own lives. We're at a critical mass in really not being able to 
enjoy the ground of our lives without something shifting. So I just, my prayer for you is that in this day, as we're with the earth in upheaval, as we're with our lives in the parts that want to be changed, that we can be solid in our being enough and open in our mind enough to be able to allow what what wants to come through us to change us, to be able to allow new states of vulnerability and connection and um, truth and joy and playfulness to come through a mind that no longer sees itself as having to hold everything together, but rather as not choosing to judge anything as good or bad, as right or wrong, but simply seeing it all a part of the art that is creating our lives. So thanks so much for listening. And I hope you have a beautiful Mars Uranus conjunction. May this bring um, many blessings in your life in the form of unknown gifts, unknown growth, and unknown power emerging from within you.